Hello, my name is Jen and I'm the owner of Crystal Forged. Today we're going to dive into an interesting topic and that is Glowforge in AI. So Glowforge has created a AI art generator. It's called Magic Canvas and it is included with the premium subscription. So right now you can actually generate all kinds of images right through Glowforge itself, right through the software without having to draw anything or do anything yourself. And these images act like PNG images, they're bitmaps. If you use that for your Glowforge, it will like photo engrave the entire image, the entire square. So it is a longer engraving time depending on what kind of settings you use. Right now, AI art is a very controversial topic. There is a lot going on. Just look up the legalities of AI art and you will find tons of Google articles and you will go down into a rabbit hole. I'm not gonna go into the controversies right now, maybe eventually in a later video if people are interested in that, but I just found this really interesting that Glowforge released a feature like this. There is a lot of potential for it, so right now it's still in the beta stages, it's still early, and it has a cool little feature that you can actually use for your own artwork as well. I'm going to show you a little tutorial of it and how to use it, so hopefully that helps you know what this feature is about if you are considering getting a premium subscription with Glowforge. Okay, so once you're in your Glowforge dashboard, obviously just go to create a new design, and you will see this magic canvas button right here, right next to your importing out artwork. Um, this is a premium feature, so you do need to have premium to be able to use it. That brings up your AI image generator here. So you just click here and you'll be able to see this bar where you can enter your prompts, your keywords, and then the art style. So these are the art styles that you can choose from. So there is a variety. So let's go with something like Coolie of the Valley, if I can type correctly. Now let's do a photograph and then just hit make magic. So it takes a second or two to generate. Now you have your image here. If you like this image, you know, you can hit use this image or you can hit make more magic and it will regenerate. Now you see I've been playing around with it. This first one I actually really liked. Oh, that one's actually quite pretty as well. Although it looks like you have a floating lily here. <laughs> In the adult coloring book style. So I kind of like this adult coloring book style because that means you can You can engrave something and then sell it as something that can be painted. Now this would be really cool if it wasn't kind of just cut off at the top here. So let's try this again. Let's see if we can get a good image here. That one's not bad. So let's just put lion and let's do it the adult coloring book style and let's see if we can get a cool picture of a lion. So that's kind of neat there. And you can keep generating, generating all kinds of images. I'm trying to see um, if I can get one that I like here. Yeah, let's hit use this image. Now you can adjust your artwork or use the image as is. So let's just hit adjust. So here you can fine tune the brightness and contrast. So you want it thinner, thinner lines, thicker lines. That will change that. Sharpness of it corners, so if you want it to fade out a bit, let's make that zero. Um, you can erase portions of your image, so you can literally go through and erase. Control Z does not work, you have to hit this little undo button up here, and you can also crop your image if you only want a certain portion of it. So let's just say we just want this, just want his face, you can crop it down to that, but let's leave it as is. Oop. I lost it. So let's use this image and let's insert it into the insert into the dashboard here. Now this is um, this uploads as if it's a PNG or a bitmap, so it does take a little bit longer than a vector design sometimes. And there it is. Now I could just enter my settings. Now, the larger it is, the blurrier it will get because it is, again, not a vector-based image. But if you zoom in, it's not too bad. So 
So let's type in Elven Elf. Let's just type Elf Warrior. And let's go in the hero heroic portrait. The heroic portrait seems to do very well with these like warrior type and DD type characters. So you get some really cool images there. Does look like there's some sort of artist signature or some kind of signature there. So this is kind of a problem with it where it does kind of tend to cut off parts of the image. Um, I've heard people say that you should use the zoomed out or right zoomed out after it. But again, you get some pretty cool image generation there. That one actually is pretty neat. So yeah, let's throw one of these in. Let's put, use this image. Get rid of that one. Oh, this one is quite a bit larger. So let's shrink it down. Zoom into that. And you can see this would be quite a bit of a grainy image. And you can see as I change them, oh, there you go. The very power actually seems like it would work pretty well. So that actually cleared the image up pretty nicely. So say I wanted to put this on a coaster or something or put this on, make a little photo frame out of it. This would look pretty cool. But that's just a little tutorial of AI artwork. Um, now what's really cool is that you can upload your own image and then go into this adjust artwork. And now you can change your brightness, contrast, sharpness, um, erase portions or crop it right inside the Glowforge dashboard rather than having to use a program like Photoshop or Inkscape or something different. So let's just take a quick look at some of these other um, drawing styles because they are pretty cool looking. So this is the lion in a brush style. Let's go geometric. Oh, I think I already did the geometric, didn't I? Yeah, geometric is interesting. Watercolor. The watercolor is pretty cool. And you can get very detailed with your descriptions as well. Try shaded pencil. I think by far the best ones are the heroic portrait when you put it in some sort of like warrior, paladin, elf warrior, or something of that sort. I feel it does very well with the uh, fantasy, fantasy creations. And super cute. This one's kind of a fun little cartoony style. And that is actually quite adorable. That's a, that's a little scary. It's like a hedgehog almost. Oh, that's pretty adorable too. So you get some pretty cool gen image generation. Um, practically, I don't know how practical this is for most Glowforge users, but it's pretty cool and fun to play around with. And you can, you know, turn these into little like engravable photo engravable photographs that you can use. There is a lot of potential for this kind of feature. Now, if they were to ever add vector design. So you would generate a vector based image rather than a PNG or a bitmap based image would be pretty insane because you can do a lot with the vectors especially in Glowforge. The potential for AI right now is pretty endless so it is going to be interesting to see how they develop this feature and where it goes. I hope you enjoy seeing this demonstration. I hope this helps you understand what it is and if you have any questions please feel free to drop them down in the comments below. I'll gladly answer them. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, help a little creator out, and I will see you next time.